A writ of habeas corpus is a court order directing that a person in custody be brought before the court to establish whether the person's detention is lawful. A Latin phrase that literally means you have the body, habeas corpus protects citizens from arbitrary arrest and detention and has been a part of English and American common law for centuries. In April of 1861, in the early days of the Civil War, Virginia seceded, and President Abraham Lincoln feared that Maryland would be next, leaving Washington, D.C. surrounded by hostile territory. To protect the capital, Lincoln issued an order authorizing military officers to suspend the writ of habeas corpus at their discretion. In ex parte merriment, the court determined whether the president has constitutional authority to suspend the writ of habeas corpus. On May 25, 1861, John Merriman was arrested without a warrant at his home by federal military officers. Suspected of being an officer in a pro-secession militia that had been conducting sabotage in and around Baltimore, Merriman was detained at Fort McHenry under the command of Brigadier General George Cadwallader. Merriman petitioned Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court Roger B. Taney for a writ of habeas corpus. Justice Taney granted the writ, ordering Cadwallader to bring Merriman before him to explain why Merriman had been arrested. Cadwallader sent another officer with his response and without Merriman, explaining that Merriman was charged with treason and that Cadwallader had Lincoln's authorization to suspend the writ of habeas corpus to protect public safety.